Hey, good morning, my fellow sawyers and tractor operators. Welcome back to Tony's Tractor Adventure. Well, we've got a project today that we're going to uh, probably we need we need we need two uh, 12 foot long 10 by 10 oak posts. And I think I just hear I think I just heard I think I just heard Tanya pull up. And we're going to walk back here and kind of evaluate what we got in the log yard. So this pile is mostly poplar. I did set one small oak log there, um, but it's not, it's not what we need. It's not big enough. We need a, a 10, we need two 10, uh, 10 inch cans. And then there's my, my gold pile. I got a, a well, one, one oak, but the rest of that is all cherry. Very, very, very good. Very, very good. So these piles are, are all white and red oak but uh, unfortunately they're all 10 foot long so i need the 12 foot so it looks like today we're going to take a tree yep we're going to take a tree as the further as we've got back in our property we still don't even have a road all the way to the back of the property at some point in time the little the little logging road is washed out and we've just never had the need to go back to the back property other than just on foot but we will We'll get gravel. This will be a gravel road all the way to the very, very back of the property. But this per portion right here is kind of where we set some of our our implements and stuff. Uh, this is actually where our house is going to be permanently placed. It's on a hillside and it's going to have a gorgeous view across this little valley in the morning. I love it. And I got to clear all of this because this is literally the footprint of the house. Well, there is a pretty sizable right there there's a pretty sizable white oak and I believe we can harvest that and, and take the uh, the boards that we need our beans that we need and a lot more probably gonna try to lay this thing across as we're looking at lay it to my left across that little mess right there let me go ahead and get the flail mower and get over in there and clean all that up it might be better all right, before we get the flail more back there, we got, remember, if you watched our video, we busted one tooth off of the flail more, so we gotta go get that fixed. The flail more hammers have, we, we've broken three of those to this point, and we've done a lot of acres, so cost, the cost is very, very reasonable for what we are doing with this thing. We're using it more as a mulcher than we are as an actual a mower. At the time of this video, uh, each time we change a, a hammer out, it's about eight to twelve dollars, depending on when we bought it. Again, once you see what we are doing with it, especially in this video, I think that is very, very uh, cost effective. And again, it's the only thing we've broken so far is a hammer, and we have used this on a lot of acres. When I say three uh, hammers, I, I don't take into account the time that I run over the big piece of concrete because that knocked off three or four hammers by itself. So it's a funny thing that we have a YouTube and Facebook channel and it, it really impacts how we do things. I'm cleaning up the, this portion to lay down the log and Tanya's like, I have nowhere to stand with the camera. I'm like, wait a minute, just let me make you a place to stand first. It, it cracks me up sometimes when I think about it. Bringing up our channels, this uh, jogged my memory. We are trying to get uh, 60,000 uh, subscribers on YouTube, and we're trying to get to that 30,000 followers on Facebook. So whichever platform you're watching, it would mean a lot to us if you would uh, subscribe and follow. I'll go ahead and try to be quiet as I can for the next little bit. I know I talk too much in my videos and uh, you guys enjoy and then I'll chime back in when I see something that I think is worth talking about.
having the hydraulic top link on this uh this implement here that really adds a different layer of capabilities so if you're going to do this i, I recommend the uh, still having a hydraulic top link and then the additional two ports uh, i'll put a link to the end of this video where i installed these uh these extra extra valves on the tractor not really that hard with the with the summit kit We're going to end up taking quite a few of these trees. This is uh, this area is going to be where we build our future house, and I believe that we are going to build it on a pier system because this looks off down a, a small valley that once it's cleared out, it's going to entertain us a awesome view, and it's going to be a great retirement home. I just can't wait to get to that point to start. But Tanya and I are, you know, we're hacking this out together as we go. This has also been a very humbling experience. Uh, in my mind, I had built all of these things out. It worked all of the issues out in my mind. Uh, it planned and made plans which have changed. And uh, as we go forward, I've learned that I don't know near as much as I thought I knew. Uh, it's like I said, it's been a humbling experience, but we are growing as people and I'm learning to enjoy the journey versus trying to get to a destination. That's, a, that's, a, that's what we all need to do, is learn to enjoy the journey. This gives you an idea of how dry it is here. We have not had any measurable rain uh, well, in almost 30 days, and you can really tell it here. Tanya will get up in the to get the shot, but in this case, she's either using she stepped away from the camera, or she's using the little remote camera. I can't really remember what she was doing at that time. But she's not in front of that. The camera's been dinged a couple of times, though. Well, that was a little anticlimactic. You probably can't crush it. Crush the log and then mulch it. Tanya's gained a really high respect for the mulcher. She thinks that thing can run over any size log. She don't care. She's like, mulch it, mulch it. What a difference. This was a big giant mess just 45 minutes ago. And we pushed the bigger logs that they left here off down further. And the whole purpose of this was to lay this one oak tree down. And I see an opportunity to clean this up so that when I lay the oak tree down, I don't have to, I didn't have to climb through all these vines. Uh, all these vines are not native in the number that we have them because the, the, normally this would be in big giant canopy growth. So hopefully we'll let these trees that we're gonna keep uh, get a fresh start and, and go on up and make. We got a few that need to come down a lot of the cherry is sickly. Wow. What do you think? She says she loves it. So this is actually, unfortunately, 
there's a couple of really nice big size trees here uh, like this oak has got a crotch and these will eventually split and break off so this is actually where our house is going to go uh, right here I mean, in this location and uh, so all these trees right here have got to go this one's going to come apart anyway so you can see it's already splitting off but it's got some massive boards in it I know that all right, so let's grab the chainsaw. I'm gonna play with the big saw again. I really don't need it for this. This is about a 30 inch base tree, but I, I just wanna play with the big saw. Uh, got it, and uh, you know, hey, a new toy, you wanna play with it. So we're gonna take that and use it to lay that tree down. My goal is to lay it straight across here. I may even try to lay it across so that the tip of it hits that dead tree right there. And we'll have to keep an eye on what happens afterwards, but uh, that would be able to knock that tree, that dead top off without us being around a little safer. It's always a, a it, when you're laying a tree down and it hits another tree that's dead on top, there's always a chance that it can throw the dead limb back at you. So you got to keep your head on a swivel. Uh, huh? Yeah, we have had them get hung before. This is too big. It's too heavy. This tree probably weighs 15 tons. So when it, when it, when it drops, it's going to, it's gonna come down like a ton of bricks. Gizmo, you ready, buddy? We might wanna put you in the travel trailer. What do you think? Yeah, he's not much on with the big trees falling. We'll come back and get him after we get it down. He's got that real thin hair too, so he's super hot. All right, let's go get the, let's go get the chainsaws. Boy, I'm a hot dog. It's supposed to be a hundred and uh, heat index day is going to be like 110. Uh, temperature is going to be almost 100. It's absolutely brutal here. So it's still early in the morning here. It's only, it's only a little, somewhere at what, 8, 8.30? My uh, TYM tractor is no longer a red. It is a brown now. A little dude, that's a, that's a heck of a setup. So, hey, in your comment section, tell me how you think the T25 and the flail mower slash mulcher that's a mulcher mower. It ain't, it, you know, if it, if what it does here, that's, you just gotta call it a mulcher. Them hammers are awesome. So, so far we've broke three hammers and one of them, one of the hammers I broke because I run over rocks, that don't count. Uh, and then, so basically we broke two hammers out here doing this. Uh, we've done several acres now and uh, I, I think two hammers broke. I like it. Oh! I gotta put fuel in this too, cause it's down to, to one tick. Boys, I just carried this big old chainsaw about a half mile back in here. And uh, I am not the man I once was. I'll just be honest with you, but I can still do it. So I'm proud of that. We uh, cleared all this land out. I just can't get over how much, this took about maybe 40 minutes to an hour to clear this out. And this is what most of our woods is like. It's underbrush that was just left over and a lot of rotting treetops where they cleared the land about 20 years ago. So we've still got quite a few trees to cut down and in this area, especially it, pretty much every tree here will have to come down because we can't have it close to the house. And some of them are really beautiful trees and you hate to do it, but uh, you know, this is gonna be, we're gonna strategically cut the trees that we have to and then leave the ones that we don't. Uh, we're going to be using the Neotech uh, chainsaw. It's a 92cc, 36 inch bar. Hey, and I need to make a big shout out to Josh from Stony Ridge Farm. Uh, I guess it was, he watched a video a couple, like a, a, a year ago that I didn't have my safety gear on. And I had, I had safety gear, I just didn't have it with me. But he cared enough. I, I seen a package come up in the mail and he sent me a helmet and, uh, and chaps again. He's like, man, you got, you got to take your safety in, 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 seriously. And so I thought that was pretty awesome that he took the time to do that. Uh, he's, he's, if you don't know what channel I'm talking about, I'm sure you do, uh, but it's Stony Ridge Farm. Uh, big, he's doing a first generation uh, cattle farm. It's pretty interesting stuff and he's got a lot going on. So I, I recommend you checking him out if you haven't seen him. All right, let's see if we can get this big boy started. Is it? Well, that's why I was here. That's why I'm doing it right here because you know it's all about the 
It's all about the video for me. Did he crack it? That tree's still alive. There's two leaves up there. So it's still bar barely alive. Either that or that leaves up. No, so that's poplar. So there's that thing still just a little bit alive. Yeah. All right.
this Neotech saw was way overkill for what I was doing, but it was sure fun messing with it. That is a beast of a saw. Hey, if you guys ever tried an Alaskan sawmill, I'm going to try that. I've got some logs that are just too big for my sawmill. I think I'm going to like cut them down with this on an Alaskan sawmill and then go from there. So I get a lot of questions about what are you doing with your with your lumber. Well, this this is a start to finish job. I've got another video that I've already already released, and I'll put a link to the end if you want to see what this whole this whole all this log cutting was about. I really appreciate you watching. God bless and have a great day.